is Airsoft News reporting from EVA 2012. We are the Action Sport Game Stand. We will be presenting the new CZ gun developed by Action Sport Games. With us is Mr. Johnny Peterson. He will tell us more about the new replica, which is actually completely new and will be made in Europe. Mr. Johnny Peterson, please, can you tell us a bit more about this replica? This, uh, this project, of course, uh, springs from uh, our license with CZ. Yes. When the, uh, actually in 2010, they were, uh, this gun, we uh, discussed with them to have the 3D drawings. We received them, and from them uh, we have uh, the module, you can say, part of the gun, so it fits into the airsoft world. Mm -hmm. We have teamed up with some uh, skills uh, engineers in Europe. We have done uh, the product specs from our company, what we would like to achieve. And uh, then all the development and also the building of prototypes has been in Europe. Yes. And it's also our plans uh, that uh, all the molding, all parts, everything, maybe a few parts will be need to be sourced from uh, overseas, like the motor, but else all the other parts will be made in Europe. Uh, some of the uh, unique features we have uh, with this gun is uh, that the motor, the gears and the silent set is uh, compatible with the version 2 and 3 we know in the market. Mm -hmm. But else, all, most of uh, the rest is, is, is replaced with the electronic, mm -hmm. which gives this gun uh, more functions. Mm -hmm. For example, like the reel, and that was one of the things we want to achieve in the project, like the real uh, Evo 3 gun have uh, single fire, burst, and full auto, we want to achieve the same thing. It's very difficult if you should do it mechanically. So yes, it is. we were forced to go in the direction of electronic. electronic. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, uh, with the electronic, we have succeeded in, uh, in this uh, gun to build in that uh, when the magazine is empty, yes. It will stop fire. We need to replace the magazine and uh, release the bow catch again yes. to, to fire. And uh, that system works with a switch connected to the gearbox. And then, like you know from the blowback guns, mm -hmm. with a small pin. Yes. Then uh, a classic challenge with uh, with airsoft is when you pull out the mag. Sometimes you have BBs coming up. Yes, at least two or three will yes. pull out. Yes. yes, our first prototype had the same disadvantage. So we say we would like. To avoid that. So totally dry. So uh, for uh, the second prototype, sitting here in the behind, yes. we have actually uh, improved on the prototype. So now the gun totally into the magazine uh, uh, during the fire. So all the BBs are expanded yes. to yes. the barrel, yes. not yes. down the magazine. Yes. Furthermore, uh, we have uh, other things we would like to, to achieve with this gun because. Uh, there are different regulations around the world with jewels and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, in order to be cost effective when we assemble and stop them, it should be very easy to change the spring. Yes. So the, the shells of the gearbox is uh, developed specific for this gun in order to have the spring in the line with the barrel. Because uh, it has a quite nice feature. Mm -hmm. You actually just take up here. Mm -hmm. That is the spring guide. You just turn it 90 degree, take it out, and then you can take out the spring and put in another spring. This is so an excellent feature. So in that way we can uh, actually be in compliance with the, the markets with one joule maximum or two joules, whatever it is. Or even for gamers who want to have a setup in the gearbox where you, in some play scenarios, have one joule and then you go next day and you want to play 1.5 yes. Uh, how did you come to the idea of building this completely new replica? Building a new replica usually costs a lot of money. Companies try to st stay away from it. Yes. They try to use existing modes, existing models to keep the cost down. You can say that's one of the benefits with, uh, with the license business. First of all, you have a well-known brand. Yes. We have access to the 3D drawings, save uh, a lot of time for the engineer. And uh, actually, uh, several parts for this gun, when we produce it, will actually be supplied from CZ. So Cheska's broker will be supplying you yes. certain parts? The, the stock here will mm -hmm. be from CZ, but in material made for mm -hmm. airsoft. The front part here will be made 
by CSIL. Mm -hmm. We bought again the material for Elsa, mm -hmm. the release tree, mm -hmm. and then of course uh, the, the grip, grip, the frame. Uh, we need to make new moves. Yes, of course. Yes. So, and again, we have an obligation as a, as a licensee to come out with some new models. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, we say, uh, and also again, we want to accomplish the features which are on the real gun. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the existing technology in the market from Asia, it was not possible. Yes. Since uh, some companies in uh, Europe already have developed mm -hmm. a system who actually could uh, be rebuilt into this gun so it could achieve the features, mm -hmm. we said that's the right uh, way to go for this gun. This is impressive. Uh, so this gun will be built in Europe, it will not be sourced out to Asia? No. no. So at last a quality weapon from Europe that the players have been waiting for a long time. Uh, will you? Will there be longer, shorter versions, or you will stick to this one, like the original? Because I don't think the original comes in various lengths. Well, uh, in first hand, it's a big challenge to bring the original version to the market. But of course, when it is accomplished, always ideas, uh, requests, and so on mm -hmm. will probably force this model into different uh, setups and outlook uh, uh, in future. Yes. The magazines will be available from probably normal ma normal capacity. It, it will be and high uh, caps. I think 70 uh, shot mag. Mm -hmm. And later on high capacity. We discuss whether it's possible or whether there should be a well adapter mm -hmm. so you can use MP5. But that is uh, something which is uh, just on uh, idea level right now. Wow. Well, this is very very nice of you to take your time. I'd yes, like to thank you for this yeah. opportunity. Yeah, you're welcome. So um, I hope to see a testing sample when they come out. Do well, you, we, when uh, do you expect the end, the, the, the final model yeah. to be released to the we, public? We strive to see whether the gun can be, uh, be finalized and uh, we can have the molds made and everything running in for production so it can be released probably within a year. But it take at least one year. So basically on the next EVA we'll be able to see them on the stand that, that as a regular our, product. That is our target. We hope to be able to, to achieve that. Well I hope you achieve it because I think a lot of players will be yes. looking forward to this moment. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. This was Airsoft News from from Action Sport Games from EVA 2012. Thank you.